This gun story starts back in October 2021. The very first match I participated in was the Rio Salado Red October match. A guy in our squad was running this Galil Ace in 5.56, completely racing through all of the stages with it. And my friend said, I want some of that. He built this gun from a kit that he got from somewhere. But the highlights being is that it's built on a Tortor receiver with a custom 18 inch long Evocata strategic barrel. The standard barrel for the SAR comes in at 13 inches, so the 18 inches just gets them that extra long. The gun's also outfitted with an ALG trigger. He put a precision armament brake on it at the expense of everyone else's hearing around you. It's loud. And it's paired with a KNS gas piston. He tuned the gas piston down so that way the softest of Tula 223 barely squeaks out of the gun and everything else runs through it without the bolt carrier slamming all the way to the rear of the receiver. This gun is definitely a pet project of his and I'm very happy he let me shoot it this month. So hopefully I don't beat it up too much. Shooter ready? Stage one Stand starts by. standing in the middle of the course and then you could divert to either side to get to one of the barricades. I have to engage the steel silhouette, one shot each from three positions. And then once I make my three hits, I go over to the other side and repeat the process um, shooting through each one of the steps. One thing I really do like a, about the Glial over the standard AK is the sights. They could be a little bit larger for my taste to make target acquisition a little bit faster. However, they are very precise, so I make quick work of the of getting one hit from each position. I think I only miss once during this stage. After you complete that, you run up to the barrel round the rifle and then engage the pistol. The, the pistol had started condition three, so you have to rack it as it comes out. I do get a light strike. I just end up reloading another magazine and re-racking it. Originally thinking I was out of ammo, I could have tried pulling the trigger again. I run to a disappointing moment here where I am not just quite able to, to beat over the spinner. I end up just hastily firing like three or four or five shots and missing all of them and end up timing out right after the spinner. <laughs> On stage one, only 11 people finished out of 41, meaning I was in a 30-way tie for last place, which is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, if I would have taken that extra moment to line up that shot and actually get the spin over, I could have gained seven spaces, but who knows how many people have the same story, so I'll just do better next time. Stage two is pretty straightforward. You didn't have to run anywhere, you just had to stand. Stage two started with rifle and you had to make one hit on each steel target where they were ground your rifle and then pick up your pistol and engage one, one of the triple droppers uh, and hit it once to make a drop and then you ground your pistol and then pick up your rifle again for two more hits and you repeat this cycle for six total iterations with pistol and finishing on pistol. I am getting a lot more light strikes with this ammo, and frankly, it just comes from not cleaning your gun, but, you know, this is just a casual match for me anyway. Sometimes when you got lucky, you can get the dropper to go uh, all the way down or two down, so that way you would only have to get a hit anywhere on it, as opposed to a particular spot to make it drop, um, which made life a little bit easier. I was able to pull that off towards the end. Um, I definitely got overconfident with my pistol work for this match. Um, so it's just something I'll just have to continue drilling in the future. Hit. 
Oh, you, I think you got it. Yeah, I think you got it. You got it with less than a second. <laughs> wow. 89.57. 89.57. I got 31st out of 41 on stage two. Not my strongest pistol work, but hey, at least I finished the stage without any penalties. More people were able to finish this stage compared to the other two stages. Stage three fortunately did not require any running on a very hot day, so that was very appreciated. I ended up getting to do a reshoot um, because I ended up getting a casing stuck. <laughs> Ironically, it was also at the same distance last year that I also experienced a similar I got the same thing. failure. Make sure your iron sights are on. Oh. Fortunately, I was able to pop the round out and attempt the stage right. again. Shooter ready? Stand by. So this one had three steel targets that were about at 180 yards away. And you just had to put one hit on each steel target from each of the six positions on this. What's a good name for this obstacle or this uh, barricade to be, out, to be honest. Up. Hit! 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 Good pace, keep it up. Hot, hot, <laughs> hot. 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 Hey, but overall, I did pretty strong at this stage. Hey, there you go. <laughs> All right. It was the magazine See burning what... the fuck out of my, my, my chest. Seven, eight, three, nine. <laughs> Seven, eight, three, nine. You're going. I don't know exactly how you put that in there, but it seems like you got it. <laughs> in there somewhere. God, God dang. I think you did so... better than I did with a, a LP. For stage three, only 16 out of 41 shooters were able to complete it. And fortunately, I was actually number 10. Um, which made me very excited. And I was the only one from Tactical Irons to complete the stage, so I'm actually quite proud of that. After I got back from the range, I discovered I had two second-degree burns from what I can only assume to be uh, shell casings. Not certain if they were from my own gun or if they were just laying in the sun and they were just that hot when I laid down on them. But I got one burn on my chest and I got one burn on my arm. Delicious. Stage three was really the redeeming stage for me, and I was able to come in 17th out of 41 shooters. Eh, you know, middle of the pack, not too bad. The shorter 90 second stages caught a lot more people off guard this month, uh, me included. However, I think most people did end up doing okay. And again, special thanks to Leonad AK for allowing me to run his Galil this month. Oh no, my stock's gone a little bit wobbly. It's downrange still. <laughs>